All right, so today we got a 2004 Toyota Land Cruiser 100 Series, and we have some uh, issues with the tint on the front windows. This car is almost 20 years old, and uh, as you can see, the tint, the glue, um, has started to give loose, and uh, it's um, created some, some runs in the tint there. So we're gonna replace that, and uh, that's a problem I had with both of the front windows. I think we had tint installed in this car uh, at the time we bought it, but not a problem for the back windows, which have factory tint in the 100 series Land Cruisers. Um, this was just kind of an aftermarket add-on. So we're gonna replace it. The first thing we need to do is take the door panel off and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so the first thing I did was uh, take these little covers off. You just uh, stick a knife under there and they pop off the head of the bolt. There's two bolts that you pull out. Um, this tweeter cover, you can just kind of pull off um, slowly, pull it directly out from the door. It's got some uh, rubber stoppers that go in the holes there. And you've got these uh, these little pins, there's three of them. If you just poke in the, the uh, little center pin there, they come right out like that. So there's another one of those there, and another one right inside the door here. So pop those out. And then there's four bolts along the bottom you need to uh, pull out as well. All right, the next thing I like to do is uh, come in here and pop this little panel out. Just like to kind of grab it and pull it out. one bolt inside of there to take off. And then this panel is really hard to get off if you don't know how to do it, but these little tabs, if you get in here and you kind of pop it up and out um, on the top, you might, might want to do this with a, uh, a butter knife instead of a knife, but you just kind of pop it up. Try the bottom first. There's the... All right, so next step is remove this little control panel. And what you wanna do is take a knife and go in about an inch at a bit of an angle like this. And until you feel some pressure, and then you wanna push with maybe like five pounds of force and then just lift straight up. Um, and what you're doing there is you're depressing that little tab right there so that it can pop up and then the back just slides out. Um, so that's it for that piece. Once you've got that uh, control panel out, there's one more bolt that holds the door on uh, right there that you've got to take out. And after you get that bolt out, the door should uh, just kind of separate. And uh, like that. And I like to kind of pull it out like this. And then you kind of have to grab the handle there and pull it out and then straight up. Kind of, sometimes it helps to maybe grab this part as well. And pull up. All right, and once we got the door panel off, that's what it looks like. I like to plug my control back in so I have the uh, control of the windows here. I can crack it a little bit. And what we want to do is this tent is pretty old. It's got a two layers on it. There's one there, and then there's also another there. We want to make sure to get both of them. Um, and another trick of the trade that you could do here is, as you're pulling them off both together, is apply heat. Uh, a hair dryer works, but a heat gun would work even better. Uh, I think really the hotter the better, as long as you're not melting the tint. And what that does is it uh, loosens up some of the glue that's on this back piece right here and uh, hopefully it'll pull the glue off the window with the, uh, the old tent. If you don't do that well, you'll have a bunch of glue left on the window, which I'll probably have at least a little bit of, and you have to kind of go back and clean it up with a razor blade afterwards. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started and uh, start pulling it off with the uh, hairdryer. All right, so I did de definitely did not get this thing off in one piece. Um, Actually, I pulled the first layer down, and then this is the second layer, which I've been slowly taking down. Um, started out with a hairdryer, but a friend 
stopped by and dropped off a heat gun. So the heat gun works a lot better. The higher heat um, really melts that glue uh, behind this tent and uh, helps come off a little faster. And if you don't, you can see just barely, I don't know, it's hard to see on this uh, camera, but if there's no heat and you're pulling it off, you're leaving a little glue behind each time. And that glue is going to be a pain in the ass later. To, there it is. You can really see it there. And you got to clean that glue up with a, uh, a razor blade afterwards, which we're definitely going to have to do a little bit. Um, but I'll uh, wrap the rest of this up with a heat gun and then uh, show you how it looks. All right. So I got all the tin off for the most part. Um, heat gun helped a lot and there's some definitely some glue still left on the windows so what you want to do let me get the camera to focus here there we go just take a razor blade and just kind of scrape that glue off like that and you gotta go really slow here you don't want to scratch the windows so you want to use a really new razor blade but you're just going to go across all the window, find all the spots where glue was left, and slowly just kind of etch it off with a razor blade until the window is totally clean. And you've got to do a really good job at this. You can't leave anything behind because if you do, it'll turn into a bubble eventually in the tent. So make sure you take your time with this. Use some soap to clean the window so you can see it really well. And uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like after I'm done. All right, about uh, 30 minutes later of uh, etching a bunch of glue off of the window, um, which really did take forever, got this thing almost perfectly clean. Um, I used some soapy water to clean it off. I didn't want to use any like chemicals to do that because um, I didn't want it to neutralize the glue. I don't know if that's a thing or not, but um, just some water with a, a drop of Dawn and a spray bottle. So that's that. Um, next step is to start cutting the, uh, the tent, which I'm gonna kind of just put up against this window on the outside and cut around with about an inch of play on each side. Uh, I bought the tent from AutoZone. It was pretty cheap, it was like 18 bucks, uh, this stuff. It's probably not gonna last forever. Um, I actually read some reviews online. It's a decent brand, but it's not the best, but you know, we're just trying to improve over uh, where it was. So uh, this will do for that. So another thing you're gonna wanna do is figure out which side of the tent is the uh, tent side and which side's the plastic side. So what I did is just got some electrical tape and did two little loops, kind of my own homemade two-sided tape. And then you can kind of pull it apart and see, uh, in this case, the underside is the clear plastic that'll come off and reveal the uh, sticky side. So that sticky side is gonna go on the inside of our window. But since we're gonna press the tin up against the outside of the car first, just to cut a shape, uh, we wanna make sure to have the, uh, um, the clear side facing up uh, so that it's the same, uh, we're cutting the shape the right way. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so I've got this tin kind of pressed up against the outside, uh, clear side up. And um, the first cut I'm gonna make is with a razor blade. I'm just gonna um, cut the curve right here. Uh, I don't have enough hands, but there's a little uh, rubber piece behind. I don't wanna cut at the bottom. I'm gonna cut at the top of that rubber piece right along, um, right along this crack right here. And that should give me about a quarter inch of play on the curve part. Once I cut the curve, I'll, I'll cut the edges um, probably give like a half inch or an inch of play on any side and the way I do those is instead of actually cutting I'm just going to kind of scratch the uh, tent um, where I want to cut it and then take it onto the carpet in the trunk and cut it there because I don't want to you know drag my razor blade across the uh, the body of the car here and scratch it up so um, give that a shot and uh, we'll see how it goes All right, so next step, we're just gonna open this window a little bit. Make sure you don't leave your car running in the uh, AC power mode or else 
gonna die pretty quick. But uh, we're gonna um, do it from the top down. So we're gonna apply the, uh, the sticky inside part of the tent to the top of the window. And I'm trying not to touch it because it's like perfectly clean. Um, but we'll start at the top. And what we do is we take that soapy water we had with one drop soap and uh, the rest water. I have a mister bottle and you just wanna really cover this window in uh, mist. I might need some more water, but I'm gonna hit that again with mist. And then you actually want to, uh, once you peel the top part of the tent off, you want to uh, mist that as well. You want a lot of water under there so that you can move the tent around and line that cut up we made, uh, line that up with the top with, uh, again, about a quarter inch of play all the way around. And then you wanna look at uh, you know your edges and make sure the tent's gonna cover and hit all of that before you really settle it in there. And then we'll uh, scrape the water toward the top at first with um, with a credit card to get it stuck. And then from there, we'll just kind of pull that clear part off and work our way down. All right, so here's how I got this started. I, um, Again, starting from the top. I just want to make sure I have clearance all the way around. And then there's some of the window that's not out yet. So I want to make sure it's got clearance uh, once it rolls up. But I just started by pushing water upwards and outwards. Um, it's all already pretty much out right now. Any water you see is kind of on the surface. But um, what I'll do next is, now that I've got this top edge kind of complete, uh, you can see that my clear part of the tent isn't totally pulled down yet. So I'll kind of pull that down a little bit at a time. And then uh, uh, as I uh, let the um, tent stick to the window, I'll start working any uh, water downwards from this point down and just kind of go a little bit at a time uh, until the whole tent's applied. I'm not going to cut anything yet, but uh, it'll go all the way down to the bottom. And then I'll probably come back, cut the top, and uh, roll the window up before I cut the bottom, which is obviously really important. Don't want to miss that. So here we go. So to, uh, to cut this top edge, we want to really do it in one smooth cut if we can. Um, otherwise, there'll be little edges and nicks along the way. So I'm just going to kind of trust the uh, window as a guide and take one smooth cut all the way across. pretty good all right so um, that worked well zip the window up almost all the way closed and I've uh, pushed all the water out to the very bottom I'm now I'm gonna cut this uh, bottom part making sure to give myself enough room to actually finish the window it's uh it's almost zipped up there so it should be pretty good and then I'll kind of just push these uh, take the credit card and push these into the corners and just run a knife all the way down and then we should be done um there's some like it looks like you can really barely see it but there's some fuzzy like dirty looking stuff the water um that stuff will kind of dry up and and go away it won't look like that forever but um yeah otherwise it's got a, a really clean uh even tint with no bubbles so far 
right, um, final product. Um, pretty clean, nice and smooth. Um, no real bubbles that I can see. Uh, I did uh, this little piece tore when I rolled the window up, but that's not, not too big of a deal. You can't see when it's closed. And you can kind of come over to this side to see if you can see any bubbles. Like there's one with a little water in it. Um, there's another one. Maybe a couple more around here, but you really want to work those out with uh, the credit card now because once this glue dries and sets in, once it sets, um, you're not going to be able to work that bubble out. So, uh, other than that, I'm pretty much wrapped up. I'll uh, put the door back on and show you what it looks like when uh, she's all finished. All right, finished product, looking pretty smooth. Um, so I put 20% on. Uh, which seems to match the uh, factory tint pretty well. Um, actually, I, I think that is what the factory tint is. Um, but looking pretty smooth. No bubbles, although uh, I feel like um, I did the other window the other day and one little bubble popped up. I just worked it out. But that's it. Thanks for watching.